Hi there, and welcome to episode 10 of Primility Primer, our morning reminder about the importance of balancing pride and humility in our daily lives. I am Jared Morris, and this morning I want to talk about transformation and how primility helps lead us toward transformation. And what I want to talk about today was inspired by an episode of TED Radio Hour that I listened to this weekend and that I will link to in the show notes, primality.com slash show slash zero one zero and it's the story of zach ibrahim and zach's father was one of the men who planned the first world trade center bombing he had been in trouble for other terrorist attacks and when zach was just seven his father took him out to a shooting range for what he called it target practice and zach didn't realize this at the time but it was his first indoctrination into the very extremist part of Islam that a lot of terrorists are part of. And fortunately for Zach, he didn't have to go too far down that road because his father was soon thereafter arrested for his role in the World Trade Center bombing and placed in jail. But during that time when they were shooting, one of his father's friends who was out there commented that like father, like son, that Zach was like his father. And what happened to Zach in the ensuing years with his father in jail really is an inspiring story to me. And when we talk about transformation and how primility can help lead us to transformation, I don't necessarily mean some big grand transformation, right? The second episode or, or the second story in this episode of TED Radio Hour is about transgender transformation. And that's a big, substantial change. And that's not necessarily what I'm talking about. Even this change with Zach Ibrahim that I'm going to talk about isn't necessarily what a change fueled by primility or a transformation fueled by primility needs to be. It can be the small, everyday transformations. We're constantly transforming. Our next choice will have a subtle transformation on who we become, where we end up. And the whole goal of primility is having that self-awareness so that that next choice is optimal, so that it leads us in a direction we want to be going in. Well, for Zach Ibrahim, as he grew up, he started to realize that the ways of his father, the thoughts of his father, some of the more extremist views of his religion were not views that he wanted to have. And as his mom told him, it just takes too much to keep hating people. And I think it was a, during a college prep program, uh, I believe during the 2000 election, Zach was working with a number of different people. And he found out after a few days in the program that one of the people who he was working with, who he'd become close with, was Jewish. And he actually, he says in his TED talk, and I want to read the exact line that he reads, because he says, one day toward the end of the convention, I found out that one of the kids I had befriended was Jewish. Now, it had taken several days for this detail to come to light, and I realized that there was no natural animosity between the two of us. I had never had a Jewish friend before, and frankly, I felt a sense of pride in having been able to overcome a barrier that for most of my life I had been led to believe was insurmountable. So what Zach is saying there is that he's basically taking pride in having humility. The humility to understand that a person's religion or race or sexual orientation or whatever it may be doesn't determine who they are as a person. And it doesn't necessarily prevent us from having a connection, having a friendship with them. The fact that Zach was a Muslim and this new friend was Jewish, there was nothing natural about the animosity that he was supposed to feel. And it opened his eyes to that fact. And as he said, he took pride in it because for so long, so many of the people he had grown up around just took this as fact that there should be this animosity there. Zach, on the other hand, took pride in the fact that he had these humble feelings of this is just another man, another person, and I can connect with that person. And the backgrounds of our religions, of our races, don't change that fact. And in that moment, it was a transformation for Zach. He goes on to share stories of meeting gay people for the first time. And his father was staunchly against gay people. And as Zach said, he met them and realized that the gay people he was meeting 
were some of the most non-judgmental people that he had ever met. Again, taking pride in humility. And again, these choices that Zach is making to reject these old thoughts, these old feelings that he really had no choice about growing up. This is just what he had been indoctrinated into, making these choices to transform. And it really is primility that's helping him to transform, that is helping him to see people, to see the world in a different way. And now Zach crusades against terrorism, against bullying. He speaks out on these issues so that other people who may be holding these thoughts can realize you don't have to. And you can actually make choices. You can self-determine how you are going to be, how you are going to treat people. But it starts with that self-awareness. And Zach Ibrahim is an it just an incredible example of someone who developed the self-awareness over time as he got older, as he matured, as he experienced life, developed that self-awareness and said, hey, I want to change. I want to transform how I'm thinking and feeling. And he went and he did it. And even by his own words, primility helped him do that. Taking pride in having humility a lot of times is what we need to transform to take that next step. And again, it doesn't need to be a big, massive transformation. A lot of times the big transformations happen because of many, many small transformations over time. Instead of feeling a sense of animosity, as you've always felt, this one moment taking a step back and realizing, wait, why was I going to be feeling that in the first place? And that leads to a bigger, bolder, more empowering transformation down the road. So if Zach Ibrahim can do that, starting out so far behind in life when it comes to being accepting and tolerant because of his father, and not because of his father's religion, but just because of his father's beliefs and the extremist part of his father's religion that his father adhered to and tried to indoctrinate his family into. Zach started so far behind, and yet he has somehow come out and become this man preaching acceptance and openness. And I think that's an inspiring lesson for all of us, that whatever it is we want to do, if we make that next choice, if we transform a little bit step by step, we can get there, we can get where we want to go. So what choice would that be for you today? What choice can you make that will help you make a positive transformation? I'm sure there is one. And hopefully, balancing pride and humility, having that self-awareness will help you make a good choice that help creates, helps to create that positive momentum in your life. Thank you very much for watching and or listening to this episode of Primality Primer. I always appreciate it. We go live at 6.30 Central Time every weekday. You can watch us live at primality.com slash live. Or, of course, you can always uh, watch the archive video, listen to the blog post. It's usually up by 7 o'clock Central Time. Primarily.com slash show slash the episode number. So this one will be at 010. And if you ever want to email me, jared at primarily.com, I would love to hear from you. Thank you very much for tuning in. And until tomorrow, stay cognizant of your pride and your humility. Keep them balanced. And that will help you have the self-awareness that you need for self-determination. Talk to you tomorrow. Wrist bump.